But I've got I've got Twitter working now. W e n o t n o, and the University of Exeter News has retweeted the Global Systems Institute, which is is live at this at this time. Um, you could just go to G GSI underscore Exeter, or I've just retweeted it. If you if you if uh, you may have given up on um, X. But it, it's still possible to communicate inside it. I don't think it's reaching as many people. Well, it might be different people. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, we're, we're going to carry on with it. And there's quite a few people around Phonic who are still wor working through uh, Twitter, as we probably still think of it. Um, anyway, the thing is that uh, the Global Systems Institute have done a lot of work about tipping points and they're, they're going to be discussing, or have been discussing, from 10.30 to 12. Um, that's today. Oh, sorry, 9.30 to 11 Green Greenwich Mean Time. So you might, you might have missed it, or you've missed, you've missed a lot of it, but maybe it'll be repeated. Anyway, try, try, try and find that. Um, they, they've, they've studied tipping points both as climate and as public opinion and it's very interesting if you, if you say just stop oil um, that's got all sorts of associations but if you don't want to read hundreds of pages of a report that might be another, might be another place to start that's just the way I the way I see it, because I've um, on the on the drama show, bits and bits and pieces of art of various kinds, let's say, or words, her sound, voice um, has been mixed in there, and um, I think it fit, I think it fits together. The, the the they're obviously not alarmist as such, the Global Systems Institute, but you. You um, you look at it or listen to it for a bit, and um, there does there does seem to be a, a a lot of agreement from various points of view and various ways of expressing it. 